Good afternoon guys. A little bit of bacon with Keith today. So, in my early days, I worked in a lot of bakeries and that combined with my home baking, I pretty much made every type of bread there is, except sourdough. I've never made sourdough. Now for sourdough, you don't use yeast. There's no bacon today. So for sourdough, you don't need yeast. You have to make a starter dough. And who remembers Tamagotchis? Wow, launched in 1996. If you don't, if you're too young to know what a Tamagotchi is, either ask your parents or Google it. So Tamagotchi was launched in 1996, little electronic toy for children. If you didn't feed it, you didn't water it, you didn't look after it basically, it died. And this starter is exactly the same. If you don't look after it, it's died. I've never done one. I'm super nervous about doing it. This could actually take about two weeks uh, until it's ready to actually make bread with it. So, what do we need for the starter? Of course, we need a jar. This is an airtight jar. I picked it up from Ikea the weekend. If you notice, I put a nice little red band on it. That is just going to go where the starter starts so that I can check when it's doubled in size. So we just need two simple things. One, wholemeal flour, and I've already weighed that out, 60 grams, and a quarter cup of warm water. So I've sterilized my jar. In goes the flour. It was all supposed to go in, but hey ho, it's all camera or anything can happen. In goes the quarter of a cup of water, and I had a fork here somewhere. I'm going to mix that up, and here we go. We are mixing, mixing, mixing. If it looks a little bit dry, add a little more water. So I'm going to put a little more water in it. I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to put a little label on it with today's date, and I'm going to keep it in a nice warm place. The kitchen's pretty warm, so that'll do. I'm going to keep it in the kitchen with the jar sealed for 24 hours and see if there's any difference to it. So, of course, you'll have to come back and check what's happened to it. it as I say, it'll probably take about two weeks for this starter to get going. Once it's established, you keep feeding it with water and um, bread flour, strong bread flour. You don't have to use the wholemeal flour after this. This is just, it gives it a bit of a kickstart to get it going. So, who's coming along the journey with me? From starter to finish. So, there we are, we have the starter made. I put the elastic band where it starts and we've just got to wait now for this to double in size. A little label on the top, 30th of May today, 2024. So we, went, we know when this starter was established. So, really excited about this. Let's hope it works. <laughs> 